Hi everyone, welcome back. This is The Bent Knitter. So this week I wanted to go into another pattern slash stitch that is very commonly used and referred to and I can't believe I haven't talked about it on this channel quite yet. It is called the Stock Net Stitch. Now it's just basically comprised of two rows um, and the pattern basically is just very flat um, which can be nice but what it is is one, row one knit all the way across row two purl so for example this row that we're going to do first is going to be our knit all the way across now one of the reasons why this is so common is that it's a good way to get your gauge so you will see a in a lot of patterns, with, especially with sweaters or uh, socks, is to measure your gauge. Um, and this is the pattern to do in terms of getting your gauge. The reason why this is so commonly used is that it it's very easy to count your stitches and your rows. So it's a good way to test how big or small you're knitting with a certain needle and yeah, so that was row one. Row two is just going to be purling. So let's get into purling. So that's part of the reason why it's so common uh, around uh, knitting, at least. Um, so that way you get a you get an idea of how um, how big your work is, which um, is vital in terms of you know uh, sweaters and the like, just because. Um, if you need a little loose, it might be too big or too tight, so you want to get it just right. So, but also, it's a very easy pattern to do, um, as you can tell. And we're almost done with it. Also, it's uh, also will be included in a lot of other patterns just because it makes for a nice background. So, if you want something to stand out. Um, like I mentioned before, there we go. Um, it is very flat, so if you're doing a cable, it'll make the cable stand out much more throughout the pattern. But like I said, it is just run, one row knit, one row purl, so you will get this um, nice flat pattern throughout your work. Now, the one other thing, in case you, uh, you probably noticed, that it does curl. On the edges so if you do this a lot you're definitely going to block want to block the edges because the curling can get pretty bad so that way it will lie flat once you're done with it after you block but curling is pretty important for this type of pattern if you have any questions comments concern leave it com comments down in the d below and I will see you next week and that is stock net stitch. Bye.